Alright, now let's see if we can find that tenders fleet. That looks like tenders. If I had to guess, this is a tender group. So we're going to close 15,000 yards. We're going to pray it's not another Udaloi squad because that would be bad. Um, I don't think I'd, 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 I'm like very certain we don't necessarily have the decoys to get away with that again. However, I am going to go ahead and load a pair of Ugrams because I'd like to use them. All hands man, no, no, close to, there you go. Con, sonar, new contact, bearing, one. Rig ship for ultra quiet. This actually seems kind of awesome. It really, really Con, is. Con, sonar, new contact, um, bearing, make depth Yeah, four, this is five, the game eight, I use to practice a lot of my destroyer work for like, World of Warships. I'll play this because this, Con, the dive, enemies are uh, four, five, very, very eight, dive, bye. So we're up to 45 feet. All right, stick our ESM and mast. our periscope and see what we can see. Oh, we're in the destruction threshold, which means this needs to be a very, very quick look. Con sonar, master one Nesha is classified three. as escort. Nesha merchant. If that's it, we're gonna just throw missiles at these guys. Lower the ESM mast. Down masts. That's all I'm seeing. Yeah, because one missile will take out one of these guys. Shoot two two. Aye, sir. Shoot two four. Aye, sir. We're actually going to follow our missiles this time because I have very little fear of counterfire. Watch from the point of view of the Russian tender. Con sonar lost contact. Master Go. one. Last bearing zero nine nine. Contact breaking up. Momentary loss of contact. Con sonar lost contact. Master two. Last bearing one zero six. Contact breaking up. I think we got him. All right, one dead Russian merchantman and one dead Russian escort. Hey, the Admiral likes us this time. Warships retreat. NATO warships and submarines have taken up new strategic positions along some in Greenland Sea in response to significantly reduced Soviet naval activity. Hmm, I wonder why. This turned a pattern of movement of enemy at sea replenishment tankers and tenders. A small enemy force, including one or two of these ships, are expected to sail from Mermax momentarily to rendezvous near the Greenland Sea. So they're coming to where we are. Well, if it's easy as the last set, we're just going to continue having missiles loaded. Because that actually worked out really well. Being able to just be like, pew, pew, <laughs> and they just explode. Alright, continue on course. That satellite probably spotted us, and I know there's a couple bears. That's what those are, the TU-50 something bears. Oh, okay, something's happening. West Germany conquered. West Germany has fallen to Soviet control after crushing assaults on the nation's capital and key strategic points. <gasps> oh, no! Germany, why? Bad Germany. Not supposed to do that. There's an enemy subcontact. We're going to interact with these guys. I know it's not part of the mission, but that is the plan. Hang on one second, I got pinged. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so we know a contact is bearing at 155. Alright, since I imagine you guys won't be amazingly kind to me and throw that into the chat, I'm doing it for the sake of... Otherwise I'll forget heading they were initially on and we're gonna close to I actually don't know what kind of context these are so we're gonna close to 15,000 yards and go investigate con sonar rig ship for ultra quiet we are not heading in the right direction to idea target going that right con sonar new con come right to one one seven helm I all right Sierra one no idea what it is 
Actually, we're in a pretty perfect Come left to right zero to eight nine helm I. Don't come anyway. Don't turn the boat. Forget what I just said. Alright, so. Uh. Okay, chat, what do you guys think? It's either a Romeo, which is this one, or it's a Foxtrot. I think it's a Con Romeo. Sonar, Sierra 1 is classified as but submerged submarine. What do you guys think? Like, here's, oops, here's Foxtrot's lines. Here's Romeo's lines. I'm thinking it's a Romeo, but it's really hard to tell, especially this one right around the 300 bandwidth. is uncomfortably close. There's Foxtrot. But you guys get a good look. And then just throw in what you think in the chat if you don't mind. Regardless, they do not have us on sonar, and they're both above the layer. So... Yeah, I think we have time to actually do some base legs on this guy. So I'm gonna go ahead and slam the rudder over and... Oh! Whoa, okay, we're getting good telemetry already anyway. Never mind. Just needed a slight course adjustment. Like, just started touching the rudder, and we almost immediately had a decent acquisition of a course on this guy. He's a little bit above us, but that's okay. I don't mind being in their shadow. Let's see what we can see, eh? Hmm. Gotta get my hands a little warmer. Alright, so we're more or less driving by each other at this point. He's at about 9,000 yards. If he goes active, he might see me. Okay, the way this works, just so you guys are understand, the higher the number, the higher the likelihood of detect detection. Every, like, sonar tick. If it's a negative number, they don't see you, period. Um, so, like, right now, if he's only sitting on his passive, there is no chance in hell he sees us. Yeah, sonar's confirmed. It's a Romeo. It's actually a pretty high fidelity con. Like, it, it, it's pretty solid contact. I'm shot it's not rendering in yet. He should be up. Oh, there he is. We have a good contact. Alright, let's, let's shoot him. Oh, okay. These things happen. The legendary ice bear. I'm just afraid he'd root for the Russians. Alright. Tube 1. Bearing 185. Range 2.8 thousand yards. Fuel remaining a lot. Fire. Gun fire control. We've lost the wire. That's a problem. Okay, we're shooting over the shoulder. We're gonna see. Con if sonar there. launch transient yep. from no, Sierra that, One. All right. all right, so he's dual launching, so we're gonna return dual launch. Two, two, three. And we are bailing. All Main I have. Con sonar. Going. We are Full navigating. Evasion. Torpedo evasion. Standard procedure. Rudder. Hard right. Left. Tube that I still have telemetry on. Stop wasting Passing your time. Passing 200 Over feet. Run straight. Run true. Now, Con, fire control, down. we've lost the water. Rudders Passing 300 feet. Dive, baby, dive. Passing Get the air feet. out of Con this sonar. boat, No longer it. cavitating. Passing 500 feet. Go, baby, go, baby, go. We still Passing have very solid contact feet. on him. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to bet that his torpedoes aren't going to Passing 700 us. feet. We're going to go and get underneath him. Passing 800 feet. Con sonar, noisemaker, bear. Passing 900 feet. Yep, our weapons just crossed. Oh man. Ugh. Alright, we're gonna keep the down ballast. Passing 1,000 feet. We're otherwise going to be now running at the torpedoes while diving. The theory is that now they're seeker heads. They, they search into a cone, 
like a cone shape and because they only see a cone in front of them odds are we might be able to just be under them and get away with it i think our torpedoes both have good lock by the looks of it they're running pretty straight at a point somewhere around here ish and uh, yeah we're calling it somewhere around there ish con torpedo room two one ready there goes torpedoes con sonar lost contact Hits. sierra Hits! Con maneuvering, making turns for two, five Good knots. by Romeo. Which arises the question, is there a Juliet out here? Now Juliet's a cruise missile submarine, so it wouldn't make a ton of sense, but Romeo's are, and Juliet's are called such because, historically speaking, the two almost always operated together. They're both diesel electric subs, so they're very quiet, well, by Russian standards. More so than some of the nuclear boats, anyway. But Rig shift for ultra quiet. Seems as though we've managed to dodge a bullet here. Yeah, dive, bring us back up. Make depth layer. one zero zero feet. Dive by. Yeah, because at this point we're slowing our butts down. Hmm. New message. Who sent me a message? Hey, okay. Con, torpedo room, tube three ready. Making progress. The guy who's playing Shogun in the corner is my marine buddy. Go ahead and time accelerate a little bit and make sure that those torpedoes don't decide they want to magically turn around. I'd say we'd search for survivors, but these are submarines. There really aren't survivors. It's not really a thing. Especially not in combat situations. Con, dive at one, zero, zero feet, dive by. Yep, it was just a Romeo. Excellent initiative, however, that was not your mission target. No kidding, we're looking for tenders. Great, now it's got me thinking about chicken. This is not a submarine group, but again, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for resupply tenders. The only thought is maybe they went around the top. No, oh, it's these guys. Oh, crap. There might be a bear fox strat on our heads. That would immensely complicate matters. All hands battle stations. One, one, Con seven. sonar. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Alrighty, chat. Someone remember that. One, one, seven. Meantime, bring us up to periscope Make depth. depth four, five, feet, dive by. This is a hostile. Okay, so. Con sonar, new contact oh bearing. One, one, six. Designated only, Sierra, one. It's only a very weak layer with a very weak duct, and it's at Con 80 sonar, feet. new contact bearing. One, zero, eight. Designated Sierra, two. So at this point, I can basically ignore the layer. If I dive at all, it, the little tiny bit of interference it'll put up is gonna be there. Otherwise, we're heading, by the looks of it, straight at this convoy, which. Not optimal. Come left um, to zero seven one. Helm I so left a bit. Let's see what we get. Cause now we're above the layer. Let's see if we can't get our tow to ray turned in into alignment. Because at 95 decibels, I think um, the narwhal, which is what we're in, at um, ultra quiet is less than 95 decibels running um, because of her advanced self-circulating natural circulation Con, nuclear power dive plant. At four, five, but eight, dive uh, uh, that, that doesn't make me feel any better when surface ships are involved. Alright. Raise the ESM masks. See what we see. Hot contacts but we're below the detection threshold. So is... Okay, so there's somewhere down a bearing of one for high on sonar. Master okay. one is classified as escort. 
One, two, Tanugra, Nesha. Okay, I agree with the one, two high <laughs> plan. Okay. Lower the ESM masts. Down masts. Um. Yeah, this is bad. How close are you? They're actually. I couldn't necessarily hit them with missile strikes. Con, helm, steady course. Um, I can hit that one with a missile strike. Missiles give away your position instantly, though, so let's go ahead and do something like this. Actually, let me target him. Okay. So now I'm going to make the assumption they didn't see us. Um, and given surface search radars exist, there's a very good possibility they saw us. Shoot 2-1. Aye, sir. Shoot 2-3. Aye, sir. Uh, those weapons are just gonna go. In the meantime... See what I can see. All right, so now, now it comes the uncomfortable part of submarines: is the sitting and the waiting. Well, I hope I can give you guys a little bit of entertainment. I'd say I'd sing you a sea shanty, but I don't think anybody wants to hear that. So, okay. Well, if the cannon goes active, it'll see us. But right now, it's only sitting on passive sonar, and they're sailing in a straight line, so I'm going to guess that they have zero chance of knowing that I'm here right now. Um, which is very, very good for us. We're actually going to follow in the right... Closing in on its activation point. Alright, so. So far, so good. Weapons downrange and on target. Which is always a plus. You know, it, it has been actually quite a while since I cleared my baffles, but at the same time, I'm betting that this is. Oh, that was an active sonar pulse. Now, here's the question. Did you just see the torpedo, or... You actually make a good point, because the Ugra is a submarine tender. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Point. Con, sonar, we are cavitating. Now, pop the engines, it's time to go. Well, I'm thinking about it. Shoot, two, two. Uh, Con, fire oh, control, close. we've lost the wire. Passing 100 feet. You know what else is loud? Harpoons! Harpoons are really, really loud! Passing 200 feet. Well, if nothing else, they know we're here now. <laughs> um, Passing 300 feet. Con sonar lost contact. Master, two. Well, we last still have Passing that wire. Four. Con Let's sonar can... nope, no longer cavitating. No Con longer sonar cavitating lost contact. Passing Good 500 hits. Good feet. Hits. Even out. Passing 600 feet. Hey, you know, it, if you're gonna make a noise, you might as well make a big one, right? Let's see, what weapons Passing are still available? Passing 700 out there? feet. Well, that torpedo is one of mine. That torpedo is not one of mine. That is also definitively not a Mark 48. Okay, this could be a problem. Um, now here's an interesting question. Are they coming from my. Ah, uh, yes. The answer is yes. So, down we go. Where we stop, we'll Passing figure 800 out feet. Yeah, no, I, Con, I completely agree room, with you. One Passing 900 feet. And there's feet. currently two broken wrecks above us, one of which is the support tender we're actually supposed Passing to be Passing 1,000 feet. Um, so, that was Passing a feet. sound. But we know there's one more hostile contact out here. Right, Rig ship for ultra quiet. Their vision range. So Passing 1,200 feet. Slow ourselves down to get our total ray back out, because I'm thinking those torpedoes are I'm way below their depth band.